General Motors and Honda, they believe that vehicles with hydrogen fuel cells in them are part of the, a big part of the future. And that's why they've invested together hundreds of millions into this hydrogen fuel cell project, which General Motors tried to keep hidden for a number of years. However, one interesting article that I just saw today is that, you know, we believe that many of these EV chargers are faulty and they're often broken, which is obviously true. However, hydrogen refueling stations in the United States are actually far more faulty than EV plugs. In fact, they're so faulty that they're more often broken than working. Now, if this is going to be part of the future, if hydrogen powered vehicles are going to be part of the future, then maybe they need to work out how to get these hydrogen refueling stations to actually work. Because the big concern is this, if a hydrogen refueling station on average can only fuel 50 cars, which is all it can do, and if on average it's down for more than 50% of the time, is this really a viable option? You can't plug your hydrogen powered car in at your home. You can't plug it in anywhere. In fact, in 49 different US states, or at least 48. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking, and I truly am baffled, as are many of you, I'm sure, as to why General Motors and Honda have invested so much money into this bizarre joint venture. In 2017, the two legacy automakers established the Fuel Cell System Manufacturing LLC, the first large-scale fuel cell system manufacturing facility. The FCSM, as it's known, is a 70,000 square foot facility in Brownstown, Michigan. This is a historic day for the industry as GM and Honda are the first full fuel cell system manufacturing joint venture to begin volume production of fuel cells for transportation and beyond. We begin the process with raw materials for membrane and electrode all the way through completed systems. Ongoing investment and commitment by both companies is driving our success at FCSM. Not really sure what success they're referring to yet. I don't believe they've actually been going selling anything. Anyhow, they said that this commitment aligns with our mission of making high quality, durable and affordable hydrogen fuel cell systems for a wide range of applications and customers. Now recently, a number of the uh, CEOs of some of the biggest trucking companies in the world said that they believe hydrogen powered trucks simply cannot compete economically or even practically with electric trucks. So that's something that obviously General Motors and Honda would, would like to just pretend hadn't been said. Even mining companies who have made their own hydrogen powered vehicles and electric vehicles, as in mega mining machines, have also said that electric ones work much better. General Motors and Honda's partnerships on fuel cell system development goes all the way back to 2013. Both companies aimed to improve the performance of fuel cell systems, which at the time they thought would be a big part of the future. Now, I don't know if they do today, but anyway. General Motors and Honda wanted to double the durability of the 2019 Honda Clarity fuel cell. The pair also wanted to reduce development and manufacturing costs, and they thought if they did it together, that's what would happen. We integrated the strengths of Honda and GM to create the most capable production system at this joint venture, said the vice president of the company, now known as FCSM. We brought a mass production mindset with attention to detail and a focus on high quality, and now we are ready to meet the needs of the customers for the future, applications for fuel cell technology, and the beginning of the hydrogen era. So they're saying that this marks the beginning of the hydrogen era, mass producing fuel cell parts for fuel cell vehicles, whether that be uh, normal cars, which they're working on as well, or whether that be trucks or buses or uh, machinery, whatever it may be. However, General Motors and Honda are seeking to expand their fuel cell applications. The US automaker is exploring applications in the rail industry, aircraft, and commercial vehicles as well. Honda is also looking into hydrogen fuel cell uses with commercial vehicles, specifically in the heavy duty trucking industry. Stationary fuel cell power stations are also a potential application for hydrogen fuel cells as well. Now, the big challenge, of course, is the fact that even now, even if you wanted to, let's say you're a trucking company and you wanted to start using these trucks, you wouldn't be able to because the only state with multiple hydrogen refueling stations in America is California. Now the same applies to Europe. Most European countries don't have the infrastructure. So it will definitely be a challenge 
uh, mass producing these parts, I'm not really sure who the customers are. Honda and General Motors, uh, when asked by investors who their customers are, who are going to be all these people buying these mass produced hydrogen fuel cells, declined to comment. But I'm curious, who do you suspect they'll be? Do you believe that this will be a success? Or do you believe that GM and Honda will just quietly not say much about the actual sales of this joint venture in the future? Guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.